A pilgrim goes to a holy place or a place that is made holy by someone having been there. Uh, and when the pilgrim goes to that holy place, he or she tells the story or is told the story of the events that happened there. So for example, we go to the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. And I was there um, recently waiting in line to go down into the birthplace of Jesus, which is an underground grotto or cave. And uh, there was a man standing there, not of our group. And he said, looked at me in my habit, he said, uh, where exactly are we? And I had to smile because, well, you're standing in the Church of the Nativity. How did you get in here for, you know, without knowing what it was? But I thought it was an important question. So you're on pilgrimage and it's important to know where you are and why you've come to this place. And it's legitimate for a pilgrim to ask that. Well, Father, why are we coming here? And that here is the key because God came into the world in a here, a particular place and time. That's the basis of Christianity. Jesus was born in time and place. And so this is a way to encounter God. It's not the only way. Someone who goes on a pilgrimage experiences God by hearing the story and then sort of saying, okay, now I'm open. What's God going to do because I came here? How will I listen to the gospel differently when I go back home and have mass uh, in my parish church? You know, I'm at, how will I hear the gospel that day uh, because I've been to the Holy Land? That sense of place and event and spirituality can happen in your parish church. If you never go to the Holy Land, you can still have a special place that you go on Sunday. Or it can happen in your home, you know, where you spend time and where you take moments out of your life to pray. It can be in a lot of different places. The spirituality of place gives us an entree to God because God is, I think, always revealing stuff to us or wanting to show us things, wanting us to have what I call that inner eye, you know, the way we perceive the world around us. As a pilgrim guide, I tend to be something of a mother hen. I want to be in charge and in control of this pilgrimage. So. Uh, you, you're worried when pilgrims go marching off in the other direction to the gift shop as you're leading them into the shrine. Part of it is, is, is our desire to show something we love and to teach something we love to these pilgrims. And we don't want, to miss, want them to miss anything of it. In the end, I'll usually apologize at the end of a pilgrimage and they'll say, oh no, Father, it's okay. I, at least I hope so. But it's because I care. So it's great to come on a pilgrimage. I would love to take you to the Holy Land. But if you can't, I would hope you could hear what I'm saying as a way to look in your own personal life. What are the important places to you? What are the important stories in your life? And how has God been at work or how will God be at work because of that experience?